All right, this tutorial is about how to record your 4K monitor or 1080 monitor using OBS Studio, Open Broadcaster Software. First thing we need to do is go get the software. So go to Google and type in OBS Studio and it'll take you here. Click on it and you'll get to OBS Studio's website. I have Windows, so I'm gonna click on here. When this page pops up, you go down to the bottom here and you can click on this little up arrow and go save as, and then it, you get the installer. So you just decide where you're gonna put it, on the desktop, wherever it is. I already have it, so I'm not gonna click save. And once you're done, it is gonna appear like this. You're just gonna follow the steps that it has here to install it. Once it's installed, the OBS Studio icon is gonna appear and then you're ready to use the program. The first thing we have to do to start recording is we have to go over down to scenes and we're gonna add a scene. So I have a couple already added here. To do that, you just click on this plus, name it, and then click OK. And then it'll whatever you name it will appear here. Next, we're gonna go over to sources and this is where you identify what mic you're using and or what screen or device you're recording from. So to add another device, so if you have nothing here, you just go here to plus, and you can see all the different choices you have. For a monitor, you're gonna pick display capture. This little menu is gonna come up. If you've already listed something, you can go to add existing and find it, but we're gonna make a new one, and I'm gonna call this one ViewSonic, and click OK. Now we can see here that is saying, do you want that to be display one? But I already have display one as my 4K. So if I drop this down, I can go and pick the, the 1080 monitor right there. Okay, and then we click OK. And you can see that it added it here to our sources. For this sake, I don't need a second monitor being recorded as picture in picture right here. So I'm gonna get rid of this ViewSonic monitor for now. Next, I'll show you how to add your mic. So if you go over here to the plus, we go up to audio input capture and this menu comes up. I'm gonna call this one audio test and click okay. This menu comes up and you'll just select the mic that you want the audio to come from. I would click this blue snowflake one, um, but I, and I feel like I'm recording double right now, but I'm gonna click cancel and you can see that it popped in over here, but I am going to get rid of it, minus and discard. So we're back to just blue snowflake. And finally, over here, we have our controls. I'm gonna skip scene transitions, uh, streaming and studio mode, cause I don't use those. I'm gonna go straight to just recording. So you can see here that I am already recording. This would say start recording if you were starting. And you can see right now I'm at seven minutes and I'm recording at 29.9 frames per second and it's only using 4.75% of my CPU. If we go into settings, in this menu, we have general, which I didn't touch anything in general. I didn't touch anything in stream, in audio, hotkeys, or advanced either. I just went to output. And right here, if you go to browse, this is where I chose where my files will be recorded to. So once they save to the computer, they go to screen record files. So this folder over here. And record quality, I picked high quality, medium file size. Now you can go to lossless, which is tremendously high quality, um, but I don't need that for YouTube, so I don't pick that. When it comes to recording format and encoder, I picked MP4 and software X264. There's higher quality ones, but these ones work for me. When we go to video, my base canvas resolution is 3840 by 2160, which is 4K UHD. You can switch this to 1080, um, and that's what your recording canvas size is, so what's recording here and then your output scaled resolution, that's also 4K UHD, and that is what your final video is gonna be. My frame rate here, as I said before, is 29.97. If you're doing gaming or something, uh, you might wanna crank that up to 60 as a higher frame rate. Click OK, and then you are ready to record. In order to record your source monitor while using desktop audio only, there's a few things you need to know. One, you need to remove the mic from your sources or turn it down completely in your audio mixer, which I can't do just yet. Next, you need to check the volume levels of the video you are about to record. I'm going to use my YouTube video up here that's in my 1080 source canvas as my example. To show you how changing your aperture affects your image, 
I took a few pictures of NBA champion Kyle There Lewis. are a few things to note. One, here, one changing the volume on YouTube changes the recording volume. So to ensure proper audio levels, you need to balance it out between your source video, so this video on YouTube, and back in our audio mixer right here. I want the desktop audio level set somewhere in the yellow and the mic all the way down like this. Shutter speed is basically how fast the camera shutter opens to gather light and closes, essentially taking the picture. In order to record gameplay, it's pretty straightforward. You want to first set your mic level to where you want it. So if your mic level is good there, and then you got to adjust the desktop audio to where you're comfortable with the sound coming from the game. So I'll push play here. You can see that that's probably pretty loud. And then if I take this desktop audio, Crank it down to here, sounds probably a lot better. You don't want to go too quiet or you can't hear the game. You want to be somewhere up here or in here to make it sound pretty good. Another thing that could impact your recording of gameplay is whether you have your headphones on. So right now I have the speakers playing out loud before I had my headphones on. Right now you can see that I'm recording picture in picture, so both monitors, 4K and 1080. If you just want to record the 4K monitor, you just have to go over here and click this eyeball and it gets rid of the 1080 monitor. If you just want to record the 1080 monitor, then you just have to click the eyeball for the 4K one. However, in this mode that's recording 4K, it's still recording this as 1080 in the corner. So you're going to get a 4K video that's exported from this and it's going to have all this dead space. But if you import this into a 1080 timeline, like you're actually going to edit in Premiere, then this is gonna be the full size of that 1080 timeline. This is a quick look at what everything would look like using a 1080 canvas. So if I go into settings and I drag this up, you can see that in video, I'm now using a 1080 canvas and output resolution, which means we can only see a quarter of my screen because a 1080 canvas is only a quarter of the resolution as my 4K monitor. So if we go down here to this 1080 monitor, which is my view sonic, and I view that one again, it fills up the entire canvas because it's a 1080 canvas and a 1080 resolution. Also, like Premiere, Photoshop, anything like that, layers matter. So if you imported this one and you identified this as a source, but it was down here, you wouldn't see it because it's under the 4K monitor. 4K monitor covers all of this, whereas this 1080 one only covers this corner. So beware of that. The last thing I want to make sure that you know is that if you only have a 1080 monitor, then you won't have the 4K options. You can only record in 4K to like to export output to 4K if you have a 4K monitor. If you have a 1080 monitor, that's the highest resolution you can output to. So that's how to use OBS Studio to screen record your 4K monitor for free.